the 36, and Oklahoma State up by four. Twelve minutes to go. Here's a flea flicker play, and they're going for Jamie Harrison. The end zone. Touchdown! Well, we knew we thought going in that we had a chance to have a good football team. The staff performed exactly like I thought they would. Step back. Quick go across the middle, and it is intercepted by Ricky Adams. Four seconds. Hilger throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. I don't believe it. Great job, Ace. That's a great job, man. Thank you. Well, I think you're going to see a doggone good football team. Uh, they're a very, very fine defensive uh, football team. They're ranked very high in the NCAA statistics. They're not a very big football team, but they have excellent speed and excellent quickness. I'm Jay Squires in Jacksonville, where the Gamecocks are getting ready for Okie State's quick Cowboys. The team's been in town a week now. The players have spent their days working here on the field at Bowles High School in Jacksonville. It hasn't been all practice and no play, though. Yeah, I've been around town a little bit and uh, rode around and uh, checked out the action and seen what was going on, and uh, we've had a lot of fun doing that also. The coaches have left us on our own a lot to do some things. We may go out to a couple of clubs and have a little bit of fun, dance around a little bit. It's, it's been an enjoyable time for me. I really enjoyed myself. As you can see, the Gamecocks haven't exactly painted this town red, that is, black yet. It looks like that'll be a job for the Carolina fans, who will be swarming Jacksonville like fire ants. Maybe the biggest fans of all are the players' parents. A lot of them made the trip, like Spartanburg's Judy and Charlie Bradshaw, who came here to watch their son have what may be the best time of his life. It's terribly important to Bill, and it's one of the bigger weeks of his life. There isn't any question about that. Uh, he's looked forward to this. He's always dreamed of the opportunity to be involved in a bowl game, and so he's really excited about it. These next few days will be the final stretch of Carolina's storybook season. All the Gamecocks want now is a happy ending. And it seems that's the same thing a lot of Jacksonville natives are hoping for, for whatever reason. I always win when I pick the color of the uniforms, whichever's the prettiest. I won many bets that way. And so this week you're picking? The garnet and the black. <laughs> so even the folks here know Carolina's colors. They expect to see the magic to go with them tomorrow night. I'm Jay Squires reporting in Jacksonville. Win or lose at the Gator Bowl, 1984 is the grandest season in South Carolina football history. It's a year that has tugged at the hearts of more than just Gamecock fans, more than just football followers. South Carolina football 1984 is the classic story of American legends, a team given no chance for glory in August, rising to join the elite of college football by November. Black magic has truly cast its spell. This has been a season of dreams turned to reality. But the fondest dream for long-suffering Gamecock fans lies ahead. A vision that 1984 is not the end of a season, but the beginning of an era.